the heart of an African city, where the urban rhythm thrived amidst concrete and steel, a collection of captivating tales surrounded a group of trees that stood as silent witnesses to the ebb and flow of life. This story, woven with drama, superstition, and the enchantment of nature, revolved around the city elders. Nestled in a vibrant city square, the city elders were a cluster of ancient trees that had witnessed the city's evolution over centuries. Locals believed that these trees held the collective memories of the city, their gnarled branches serving as both arboreal historians and mystical guardians. The superstition among the residents suggested that the city elders possessed a form of sentience, their roots delving deep into the city's soul. Among the city dwellers, a storyteller named Rafiki was renowned for his ability to interpret the whispers of the city elders. Legend held that these trees communicated through subtle rustlings and creaking branches, offering insights into the city's future. Rafiki, with a cloak woven from leaves and an ancient staff, would often be found beneath the shade of the elders, interpreting their arboreal prophecies. One fateful day, a dark shadow descended upon the city, casting a pall over its bustling streets. The city elders, sensing an impending calamity, began to tremble as if burdened by the weight of an ominous secret. Rafiki, attuned to the rhythms of the elders, interpreted their whispers as a warning of a great upheaval that would test the resilience of the city. As whispers of the impending disaster spread through the city, a group of citizens, guided by superstition, sought to appease the city elders. They adorned the ancient trunks with vibrant fabrics, lit candles around their bases, and performed ceremonial dances beneath their branches. It was believed that such offerings would harmonize the city's energy with the wisdom of the elders, mitigating the impending crisis. The night before the predicted catastrophe, the city elders seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly light, their branches swaying in an ethereal dance. Rafiki, interpreting their final message, gathered the city's leaders to convey the elders' guidance. They were urged to unite the citizens and foster a sense of communal strength in the face of adversity. The next day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, a colossal storm swept across the city, testing its foundations and resilience. Yet, in the aftermath, the citizens emerged stronger and more united than ever before. The city elders, though weathered by the tempest, stood tall as a testament to the city's enduring spirit. The superstition persisted, and the city elders became revered as not only witnesses to the city's history, but as prescient guys steering it through turbulent times. The dramatic events that unfolded beneath their branches transformed them into more than mere trees. They became a living connection between the city's past, present, and future. Their stories whispered in the rustle of leaves and the sway of ancient branches. As seasons turned, the city elders, having weathered the storm, became a symbol of resilience and unity. The city's residents, now deeply connected to the lore of the trees, continued to gather beneath their ancient branches for guidance in times of uncertainty. Word spread of the city elders' mystical influence, drawing people from neighboring towns seeking answers to life's perplexities. Among these seekers was a young woman named Kaya, whose heart carried the weight of an unspoken sorrow. Legend suggested that the elders could offer solace to those who approached with pure intentions, and Kaya, desperate for guidance, embarked on a pilgrimage to the city. Upon reaching the bustling metropolis, Kaya found herself in the shadow of the city elders. Their branches seemed to beckon, and as she closed her eyes in quiet meditation, the whispers of the trees enveloped her. Images of a winding path and a hidden glade played in her mind, a message that stirred the curiosity within her soul. 
Guided by the mystical visions, Kaya ventured beyond the city limits, following the echoes of the Elder's messages. Her journey led her to a forgotten grove, hidden from the hustle and bustle of urban life. In the heart of the grove stood a solitary tree, distinct from the city elders, but radiating a profound energy. As Kaya approached, the lone tree seemed to come alive with a gentle breeze, and the surroundings echoed with the harmonious melodies of nature. Legend spoke of such sacred trees as conduits to ancestral spirits, and it was believed that those who listened with an open heart could commune with the souls of the departed. Embracing the superstitious whispers of the elders, Kaya sought solace beneath the sacred tree. In the quietude, she spoke of her deepest sorrows, pouring her heart into the winds that carried her words beyond the grove. 